is a murderer. That the soldier killed an unarmed Palestinian that was causing no danger in this moment. And that there is no excuse. <clears throat> so, because of tribalism, we often do not see the conflict in rational terms. We see it in tribal terms. And I'm sure, once again, if you think and try, you can see how this works in Colombia too. Not just between the government and the FARC, but even between people who voted yes and people who voted no. <clears throat> okay. yeah. So now we'll talk about shared social beliefs, which is part of tribalism. There is an Israeli academic, his name is Daniel Bartel, and he has done a lot of research on the topic of shared social beliefs during conflict. According to Bartel, societies develop a system of shared beliefs that help the society survive in a hostile environment for an extended period of time. This system of shared beliefs operates as a psychological coping mechanism. In other words, it helps people continue with their lives and not be psychologically paralyzed by the conflict. So I'm going to talk about some of these beliefs and I would like you to think about how these beliefs work in Colombia. So, a belief that one's own goals, the objectives of your side, are justified. A belief that there is a need for security and that security and the military are justified. A belief that the other side is illegitimate a belief that the image of your side is positive. A belief that your side is the victim. A belief that patriotism is a virtue. A belief that unity is a virtue. And a belief that your side desires peace more than the other side. So these shared beliefs become a system that a society during conflicts lives with. If the society believes that our goals are justified, we are legitimate, we are the victim, we want peace, there is a need for security and military, while they believe that the other side is illegitimate, doesn't want peace, etc., then conflict resolution becomes incredibly